My name's Dan. I'm on a 10-year tour to travel 100 countries without flying. And this current section is to get to Sharm el-Sheikh and to the COP27 climate conference there in November. Uh, yep, so I, I've got a loose base in Spain at the moment. So I left from Spain about a month ago now. And yeah, so here in Baghdad, it's, I, I've, been, I've spent the last day or so cycling around and trying to get a sense for the place, trying to get a feel for the place. Um, you know, where, where do people go to hang out? Where do people go for food? What's, where, where, where is the live music? What, what, what is this city? Um, and it's, it's been terrific so far, to be honest. It's quite big, though. <laughs> so getting around, it does take a while to get across the other side of the city. I'm travelling to the COP27 in Sharm el-Sheikh without flying because I'm trying to illustrate the, the importance within the, with the transport sector to, to do more about the climate crisis. I just felt that I, you know, I can't do this with, without being more carbon conscious and at the very least reducing to the absolute max any flying that I will do and maximising any cycling that I can do. Um, just because I'm going to have so many kilometres and miles behind me after, as the years go by. The smell of benzene, the smell of petrol, it just dominates everything. And the, the, the pollution is one of the hardest parts of, of long-term cycling and travelling because you're constantly exposed to, to exhaust fumes and things on, on road sites. You know, we live in a, in a planet that is not built for sustainable for sustainable travelling. It's not built for cyclists. Uh, so it's all with money that I make performing on the street, really. So I'll, I'll, I'll set myself up in street corners around the world and, and play a few tunes and uh, see if I get a few drops, really. I've got a pretty low budget way of, uh, way of travelling and going about things. Thank <laughs> you.